In confrontational field testing, each eye is assessed separately to determine the extent of the peripheral field. Have the patient sit directly across from you, about one arm's length away. Make sure you and your patient are sitting so that your eyes are at the same level. This ensures that you and your patient's visual fields are similar. Prior to testing of peripheral fields, ensure that central vision is intact with prior visual acuity testing. We'll start by covering your left eye. And if you look here at my nose, is my whole face clear or is there any part that's blurry? It's clear. Good. So keep we'll it. now assess the confrontational visual fields with the finger counting method. Ask the patient to cover their left eye and fixate on your nose with their right. At the same time, you as the examiner close your right eye so that the visual field in front of you and the patient is the same. One, Repeat this process with two. the other eye. Now we'll try the same with the other eye. So cover your right eye with your right hand. Okay. And again, looking at my nose, is any part of my face blurry? Nope. Good. Two, two, one, one. Very good. You can also perform this examination by asking your patient to identify when they see your finger wiggling. Again, looking at my nose, tell me when you see my finger moving. Now. Good. Now. Mm -hmm. Now. Now. Certain types of field defects are associated with specific areas of damage along the visual pathway. Here we see the potential visual field defects and their respective damage area.